At the end of next month, the Razorbacks will be playing their home opener here at Razorback Stadium with new grass under their feet. Doug Karcher, a professor in the horticulture department at the U of A, has been studying grass for over 20 years. When the switch from artificial grass to natural grass was discussed, Karcher says he has been researching a type that was perfect for Razorback Stadium. This grass we actually planted in 2013 as part of a large Bermuda grass variety trial. At that time, it was just an experimental variety. It wasn't available to anybody outside of academic research. He says that variety of grass was released just two years ago so that it would be available outside of research. And because it's so new, it hasn't really had a chance to be installed in some of the major venues. So the Razorback Stadium will be one of the first it will be the first major venue to put in Tahoma 31 Bermuda grass. He says it wasn't hard to recommend this variety of grass to be installed at Razorback Stadium, even though it would be a first. After researching it for years, it has done so well on campus in Fayetteville. Carter says right now the grass, unlike most grass in the area, is grown on 12 inches of sand. Truckloads of the Tahoma 31 Bermuda grass sod will be brought in from Memphis later in August. He says the historic flooding along the Arkansas River this year was a concern for the project. The sand the grass would grow on was to be brought in from places along the Arkansas River. So we were without a sand source for two and a half, three weeks, and we were all very nervous as to when those floodwaters would recede. He says sand producers were able to get sand quickly after the floodwaters receded, and it didn't become as big of an issue as he thought it might. Now, Karcher says that those students will get a chance to work with the facilities team here to see how that grass holds up. He also says that the horticulture department will have a nursery on campus with that Tahoma 31 just in case repairs are needed to be made here at Razorback Stadium. Live in Fayetteville, Taylor Pinnell, 4029 News.